All right, so if you watched my last video, you knew that I went to a local convention and it was a great time. It was small. I set up shop with my friends. We sold comic books. We just had a blast. At that con, though, I got a chance to sit down with local legendary artist Tom Grummet and talk to him about his career. It was a great time. So without further ado, let's get into the interview. Check it out. Hello, everybody. I have Tom Grummet, legendary artist, with me here today. And uh, I just have a quick interview with him, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to ask a couple questions. Thanks for being on the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Awesome. Good perfect. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's, good it's morning. day three here at uh, Sask Expo, so it's been a fun little trip. I've got a couple art pieces by Tom already today, so it's, it's been a great time. So first one, I want to ask you a question. Your origin story. What made you become a comic creator? What made you so passionate about that? Um... I don't know, I was attracted to comic art and comic strips from before the time I could even read them. I, just, I was just really attracted by the you know, bright colors and, and uh, little stories taking place in a box. Um, and very early on, tried to replicate what I saw there and make my own little, little comics. Yeah? Do you still have some of those comics? I do not. <laughs> that would be funny. Awesome. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> that would be great. So yeah, colors. Uh, back in the day, all, uh, we called it, what was it, the antique years we talked about the other day, mm -hmm. about all the different type of colors and stuff. So looking back, you've had quite a successful career. Uh, you know, uh, story arcs such as Death of Superman, you worked on X-Men Forever, uh, just lots of things, Superboy. Is there one moment in your career that you look back and be, you know what, I'm super proud of that? Um, no, but, well, periodically, I guess, but uh, I, I do remember uh, even earlier on being struck, I'd be sitting there working on a, a, a new Titans page or a, a Superman page or a Robin page, and I would think to myself, wow, I'm actually doing this. <laughs> You know, um, it was the kind of thing I dreamed about doing, you know, virtually all my all my life, and uh, just feel enormously lucky that I had the opportunity and the luck, good fortune to, you know, actually get into the, this business and, and work on some of these characters that I grew up with. You do it? Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. That's incredible. I was thinking about this. You've actually had such a, a, a historical moment on an iconic character of Man of Steel. That's, that's forever, right? The death mm -hmm. of Superman, that is forever on that iconic character. Yeah. And, and you had a huge part in that. So that's... Yeah, I, I'm, very, I'm very proud of that. You know, because uh, every once in a while I'll take a look back, you know, through the, uh, through the trade paperbacks and, and things like that. And uh, the story holds up, sure even does. today. It, it's, it doesn't feel dated. It feels, uh, you know, like a fresh tape. Um, that feels like we were, you know, taking a risk. We had to get on the high wire a little bit, but, uh, you know, pretty much anywhere on Earth, people have, have seen and read that story, so that's, that's kind of a kick. Very, very cool, right? It is. So that's awesome. So my final question here, and for those that know, at home, I'm a huge Nightwing fan. And Tom oh, actually has really heavy influence on creating, a, a, well, basically overhauling, you know, Nightwing mm -hmm. for a costume. Now, this costume was my 90s and, and, and kid growing up. This is my favorite costume of all time. So can you walk me through your, your thought and process of creating that actual costume for that character? Oh, no, that's, that's a stretch of memory. <laughs> yeah, no, no um. pressure. <laughs> It was it was very likely uh, my editor said you know it'd be really nice to kind of update some of the 
Peggy's character's costume. Uh, because this was the 90s, uh, the costumes had been created by George Perez in the 80s. And uh, so, in the case of Nightwing, I wanted to keep certain elements to evoke what George had done, but still kind of streamline it a little bit, get rid of the disco collar. Right, yeah, get rid and, of and the... And the, and the, <laughs> and, and the plunging V-neck uh, a little bit. And uh, looking at it now, it does seem to have formed the template for what people, artists afterwards, have done. They haven't deviated very much from that. No, you can see there's a, like even for the New Fifty Two and stuff like that. Your input on that character is still heavily influenced on that. Yeah, right? I think that, I think pretty much everyone was very happy to get rid of the pony band. <laughs> but beyond that, uh, that costume design overall has. You know, it's been tinkered with a little bit, but it hasn't really changed all that much. That's right. Um, so in terms of Nightwing's costume, it, you know, I think we hit a, you know, at least a in part fly with that. Um, also did the same thing with Starfire, and that was a total strikeout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some, but... Yeah, you can't, you can't win them all. No, absolutely. But, you know, all said and done... You've done an incredible career. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk to me today. No worries. You're a great man. All the best to you. No problem, Tom. All right. Thank you. You bet. Right. Until next time, keep on collecting. Bye now. All right, so that was the interview. I got to say that was my very first interview ever with any kind of artist. I was a little nervous. It was a great time. And he is such a good person. He uh, just kept it entertaining, talked to me, knew me by name. Uh, just It was a great experience all around, and I'm glad it was Tom that was my very first artist interview. It was a great time. So with that being said, during the interview, I did say that I got some commission pieces from Tom, and here they are, all right? So the first one I have is, I mean, it's incredible. You have to get a Superman commission by Tom Crummett, and the cool thing is, it's a mullet Superman. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the classic, right? So really happy about this. I'm going to put it up in my office. I can't wait. Great time. Secondly, I decided that I wanted to get another commission by Tom because he is my favorite character in the DC Universe. I had to get it. He had such a huge impact on this character. So here it is, finally. The Ponytailed Nightwing commissioned by Tom. What a great piece. Super happy about this one. And again, I'm going to put this in my office right by the mullet Superman. So it's going to look great. Alright, so that's my commissions. All right, so that was the interview. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I, it goes a long way for me, so I really do appreciate it. It's such a great experience. I love the commission pieces, and it was just a great experience all around, okay? So hopefully you get a chance to go see your local comic book artists. Have a good time, and remember, keep on collecting.